I drink again. And then I drink again. is hurting from the chair I'm sitting on. Where's the Tylenol? If I lay down flat on the floor, it usually kind of fixes it.
hand on my shoulder for a second. He didn't even squeeze it. He just, like, rested his hand on top of my shoulder. And I was just thinking, how could he not hate me? How could this guy not hate me? to be worried about me. There's nothing to worry about. I don't want people to try and understand why I am the way I am. Because I should be the first person to understand that. And I don't understand yet. for attention, trying so desperately to make the world notice you, some childish attempt to feel special. Or are you just looking for an excuse for the fact that you're a lazy, unlikable waste of air? Thank you, rich and famous, in exchange for your soul. Okay, here you go. All right, you're rich now. Thank you for... What's wrong? This is a half-eaten can of Pringles. Yeah, that was in my soul slot, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I don't want it anymore. Rude. I want my money back. Too late, I spent it. It hasn't even been 30 seconds! Yeah, I bought crypto and it crashed. Dude! Life is about taking chances. What is wrong with you?
reveals that small children who are treated badly by their parents will always, rather oddly, blame themselves and not their parents for their injuries. They hate who they are rather than hating those who've done them wrong. Small children immediately notice when they're not loved as much as they might need to be. They understand nothing of the reasons for this hard-heartedness, but they feel all of the pain. And yet they need to locate some kind of explanation nevertheless. And so they quickly and intuitively settle on one that almost always feels most compelling to them. That they have done something wrong. Why is mummy so agitated? Because they've done something wrong. Why is daddy so cold? Because they've done something wrong. Why aren't they being treated kindly? Because they've done something wrong. Why is their little sister being preferred to them? Because they've done something wrong. Here's how to feel fine in just five steps. Step one, repress the feeling. Ignore that it's there. Distract yourself with entertainment, social media, and keep TV on in the background even when you're not really watching it, just to keep yourself distracted. Step two, make sure to never ask for help. After all, why do you deserve the basic human needs that everyone else has? At the end of the day, somebody else is struggling with something worse than you. Step three, make sure to help everybody else around you, though. Make sure no matter how small their issues are, they deserve the help and watch to them as they if they need it. And if they ever ask you that, just be sure to tell them, no, I'm good. Seriously. Brings me to step four. Tell people how you're fine. I'm good. Really? No problem. Yeah, I'm going to look back at the fine. I'm like, no, it's not true. I'm okay. I'm going to look back. Keep repeating. Eventually, you're going to feel better. Step five, the most important one, keep being super mean to yourself in the back of your head. You might be worthless. Maybe you're broken. Question everything you do. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you think anybody likes you. As a matter of fact, you're going to be fine if you just keep it.